How's it going, everyone? So today we're going to be doing a trade recap. Pretty cool one. Really crazy scalp trade that I took to the long side on Tesla. It's Thursday, October 27th. The trade was 37 seconds, and I made $2,694. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions about strike price, kind of my style, what patterns, levels, things like that. It's hard for me to be able to answer every single question. So if you're interested on how I navigate the markets each and every day, I made sure to put together a guide that answers all those questions. It's a 62 page downloadable PDF and you can access it in the description below. Now let's go over the overall market because this is gonna be very important for why I took the trade quick off the open, which is something that I rarely do. So check this out. Look at this recent strength. We're kind of in a buy the dip market right now. The short term bulls have taken control. So I'm leaning a little bit more to the long side for most things. Now obviously stocks are gonna have news sometimes independently and then they gap down and that changes the game. But when just looking at the market overall, assuming that the stock that I'm trading looks similar to this, I'm gonna be leaning to the long side because I feel like the sentiment has changed. So knowing that about the overall market, that at least for the very short term, I feel like bulls are in control, the sentiment's kind of shifted. Now let's really break down the Tesla chart, starting with the daily. So what happened? It looked like it was gonna break down, looked pretty weak right around this 204, 200, failed to break down, and then look at this day on the 25th. That was a nice momentum day to the upside that cleared a lot of price action to the left, and it got back above the nine EMA, had a little bit of follow through that next day, and then it was kind of trading right at this 230. So just looking at this daily chart, 230 is big resistance. Now I know some people like to short supply or short resistance, kind of buy support, buy the dip, things like that. I'm a big fan of taking the breaks. And then obviously if I get a quick move in my favor, I'm gonna take profits. I don't wanna overstay my welcome because there's plenty of times where those breaks don't work. And being that I'm a scalper, I'm only trying to get the quick move anyway. So I'm gonna be using those major levels just for momentum moves. And then I get those quick moves and I'm taking those profits. I'm not trying to hold for a long period of time. If you've watched my YouTube channel, you should know that by now. So really breaking down this daily chart, Short-term bulls have taken control. We're back above some of the short-term moving averages. Just noticing that 230 is major resistance. If we get above that and we hold above it, it looked like it had more room to the upside. Now, if you look to the right, this is the intraday chart. These are two minute candles and the indicators that I have on this chart are gonna be the nine EMA and the VWAP. Those are my favorite to use. So what happened off the open? We had a quick pullback. Let's just take note of the major levels. So the first green line is 230. That's gonna be that big macro level that I got from the daily chart. And then the next green line above that is gonna be pre-market high. So the fact that there's two technical levels kind of stacked pretty close to each other is the reason why I really like this to the upside and especially quick off the open. So it ends up pulling back a little bit off the open and I was just watching this and then it immediately got bought back up back above the VWAP and the nine EMA, looking at 230, knowing that is a macro level, I ended up going long right at that 230. And being that this is a really quick trade off the open, I want it to go in my favor fast, or I need to get out because it can be a big loss really quick. Got above that 230, above that pre-market high. And once this thing started to rip higher, I knew that at worst case scenario, I want this to be a break even trade. And I'm not gonna try to overstay my welcome with this. I'm a scalper. And especially when I'm taking something really quick off the open, so I got a nice move into 233, started to pull back a little bit, and then I ended up taking profits right around that 232 for a nice move. And then that was it. So it was a nice one and done day. Now, obviously there were some setups at the downside because this was a fake breakout, which can happen. That's why I like to take those quick profits because it's pretty easy to get stuck in the opposite move, especially if it does not break out or break down. But that's why I'm just gonna scalp. I don't have intentions of holding long-term. I'm gonna take those quick profits because that's what works best for me. Funny enough, there were some setups to the downside that I normally like to take, but I'm a huge fan of one and done. When I can make that much money quick off the open, in my opinion, there's no reason to mess a good thing up. I don't wanna continue to trade because that can spark over trading. And then if I'm up that much and I start to give it back, I'll feel myself maybe get frustrated. And sometimes that's where I can give a lot of it back or even go down to flat, and then I get really upset at myself and go, why didn't I stop trading when I was up that much off the open? So for me, I'm gonna call it, even if patterns look good, just because I wanna make sure that I don't screw a good thing up, and I've noticed over the years of doing this that that's what works best for myself. And here are the executions at the bottom of the page. So took it very quick off the open, which is rare. That's not something that I do, but I felt really good about it just because everything lined up and you had the two technical levels that were kind of stacked on top of each other. So I went long at 9.30 and 56 seconds. I took the 2.30 calls. So right at the money, I bought 20 of them, $4.34. 
and then sold them 37 seconds later, all of it for $5.68 and made $2,694, which is a great green day. So that was the trade recap. I appreciate you watching the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I just wanna talk about a couple cool things that I have to offer. The first is gonna be my newsletter watch list. This is exactly what I post on my private Twitter 30 minutes before market open every single day. I do a quick analysis of the overall market, the spy and the cues, if there's any major market news that day, and then all the stocks I'm interested in watching, it's usually four or five, if there's any major news tied to them, and all the levels that I think are in play. To the left, this is exactly what I'm posting on my private Twitter. I make sure to add that newsletter. I take a screenshot of the charts, green line to the upside being long, red line to the downside being short, and I make sure to highlight those two levels above. This is everything that's going on in my mind and my game plan going into each market open. Also, I make sure to add a little mental note because every day is slightly different, and here's an example of that. And if you want something that's a little bit less of a commitment, I do offer a live one-on-one -on -one call for one hour. This is where you can ask me questions about my journey, go over setups specifically, everything that I've gone through as a trader, whether you're beginner or advanced, this is a great way to connect with me. So if you're interested in my private Twitter or the one-on-one -on -one live call, feel free to go to callmattdiamond.com or check out the links in the description below.